Hey guys, Tyler Tamerlane back with more obscurities and miniatures. Today we're going to take a look at one of the individual boxed Wild West Exodus figures. This is Mimreg Zane, which is part of the order who are the holy dudes dedicated to wiping evil out of its existence from our planet. Which means they fight aliens and evil space beings most of the time. So this is from the original release. Before, well, I shouldn't say before because I have the War Cradle label on it. Before, okay, let's say this. Bef oh my God, I can't pick it up. Before War Cradle went and redid a lot of the art, and I want to say Mimrig Zane has actually got an updated model with the Core Caroli stuff. It's very Age of Sigmar looking armor, but I gotta say, I was a fan of this one. So. If you're not familiar with the Wild West Exodus stuff, it's very steampunky, obviously. So he's got some hardcore powered armor going on here with a cape billowing dramatically. Tunic underneath all that heavy armor. What is this random bit right here? Oh, his helmet. I don't know why, but the helmets make me think like Greek hoplites or something. But it's fully enclosed. I like that. He also has a very fancy engraved axe and a big honking pistol with a blade on it that a space marine would certainly be proud of. I'm going to grab some clippers and we'll put him together and see just what we're looking at. And he also has a big 40 millimeter base as opposed to the regular 30 ones because he's just a big bad dude, right? Right. All right, let's put them together. And we've got our friend Mimreg Zane all finished up here. So overall, the armor detail is quite nice, especially when it's actually in focus. It's quite ornamental, very elaborate, lots of rivets and studs, funky gun that I think I need to clean out a little bit better, and a big, very elaborate looking axe. The only thing I don't get is he's just got such a huge base. And he's not all that big, comparing him to our good old Marshall Base Reeves there. You can see he's not a whole lot taller than a regular human, but he sits on a much bigger base. I grabbed one of the Core Colodi models, which are the kind of upgraded versions of the Mimregs after the whole start with the alien invasion and all that for Wild West Exodus is supposed to be underway. And you can see he's a lot bigger there. There actually is an upgraded memory Zane wearing the same armor, but I don't own him yet, but maybe someday. Anyone doesn't have the axe anymore. So it's a bit of a toss up. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually keep him on this base, especially since he's been updated to a new model, or if I want to at least just put him on a smaller 30 millimeter Wild West Exodus base since he fits perfectly fine. I mean, it's not like he's a super gigantic model, and he'd be a lot more in scale with the rest of the guys. You know, and even grabbing something like a Malifaux figure, he doesn't look too out of place in terms of size and scale. So, heck, maybe he's some kind of a fancy dude in a Inquisitor's retinue or something. I don't know. He'd fit in pretty decently, I think. So, interesting suit of armor. Yes, this is an older model, so you might have to go hunting around to find one, but it is still out there, and there is a more upgraded version that's a bit more Stormcast Eternal looking, if that is more your speed. So, this is part of, I believe it's called the War Cradle Classics line now, so if you're interested in that, check that out. Give a look through the Wild West Exodus range because there's all kinds of hidden gems in there. And I bet if you wanted to convert him into something else with a little bit of ingenuity, I'm sure you can come up with something interesting. I mean, he already looks like he's got like eagle pauldrons on his shoulders there almost. But like I said, in a little bit of work, you might have yourself some kind of new Imperial agent. That said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.